And now all of the black people in this country are demanding, and even the black people in the whole world are demanding, is that you keep your word. You told us we were free. Well, then show us that we're free. You told us that there is justice, equality for all in this country. Well, then stick to your word and let us see the justice and equality for all. Or else admit to us that you're not a man. You're a worm. You're afraid of us. You're afraid to give us equal stand. You're afraid that if you give us equal ground, that we will match you and we will override you. And if that's what you're afraid of us, then, then tell us that just what you're afraid of. But don't keep hiding it from us and, and holding this up to us. And every time we ask you for something, you give us a little bit of something. And it's all tokenism. We don't want tokenism. And there are most black men in this world that don't want charity. And yet still every time we ask you for something, you give us a little piece, a little piece. You're playing games with us. We're not children. We're, we're big men. I've seen my father have to put up with all kinds of stuff. He was a big man. He raised a family. He went down south. And he had to go around to the back door with his wife. We're not asking for anything. We're not asking for any favors. All we want is what's ours. Now, there are many black veterans who are coming back, and they're mad. They're angry. Do you think that they're going to sit down through this? Our fathers didn't have the knowledge that we have. They sat through it. But there are other black youth that are not going to sit through it. We know about Che. We know about uh, Fannin. We've read the books of our revolution. We've listened to Mao and his quotations. We know where we stand. We're not going to sit for it. We're asking, and if we ask and we don't get, we're prepared to stand up and take it. If I ask a man, I tell a man I am hungry. I tell him I am cold. And I ask him to do something about my condition. And this man holds a loaf of bread right in front of me so I can see it. And I keep asking him, I'm begging him to please give me a slice of the loaf of bread. I am hungry. Then it is known by every psychologist that the next step in the progression is I am going to knock him upside the head and take the bread from him. I'm not going to starve to death. We're back. play with your kids or something. There ain't no games to be played with us. Nope. All the garbage in the world, all the thieves men and all the thieves in the world couldn't steal from it. Couldn't take something. I mean, I'm talking about this guy 
popping up repeatedly, usually N word and, and unwanted guests and all headed hooligans showing up at the gate trying to get all they can get. It is the bottom line, Santee Wall. Let's get to the vice president here. I don't want to waste any more time here. All right, why do that? No, why do that off? And shout out to the good people. Mm-mm. I don't want to waste another damn moment. Well, check out what we got here. Fair use. Uh, fair use. A simple marijuana possession. And the impact is such that, in particular, Black Americans and Latinos are four times more likely, four times more likely to be arrested, arrested for marijuana possession. And the disparity is even larger when you talk about the subset of Black. Stop, ma'am. As a person politically, you ran off of how many niggas you could put in the jail systems off of smoking weed. You were one of them politicians who built her career off of dusty black folks with paraphernalia at the bottom of their pocket, trying to give them a little bit of extra time. All right. She wanted jokers that was angry when some of the, you know, the laws were passed as far as the books, very hesitant because that's the standards between Willie Brown. All right. And others of what helped build her political careers going after black people. Marijuana, truancies, whatever you have here, also these were the things in, in which she had her disposal that she tossed at black folks. This is why this is very ironic. I mean, Fox News and the white women destroyed her when she sat up here lying, talking about smoking weed, all right, listening to Tupac and Snoop Dogg in college, because we know by the, the, the math and the terms of this, that shit never happened. All right. It's it's uh, as truthful as her and her family celebrating Kwanzaa. All right, it's as truthful as that, dude. All right, this is your representation you got in front of you. No, her damn Converse collection. All right, her Converse collection and her edges or her whatever that is. All right. This is a this is a horrific shame. If we got to jump in a hot tub time machine real quick. All uh, right, before somebody sits in here and tries to rob you, I, I, I don't mind. I do not mind pressing rewind on history to make sure that somebody ain't stealing from you. All uh, right, I don't give a damn who's at the table. All uh, right, when you say representation, this, that, and the third, no, you, Kamala Harris speaks for Kamala Harris politically. All uh, right. No, unless you're one of these other groups in here, she ain't got a damn thing to do with blackness, dude. That's all I'm saying. All right. Unless you came in here for something else. Black men and Latino men. So this is an issue that must be addressed. It is work that, again, I've done over the years. It is work that we are also doing as an administration. First, I will tell you that we have pardoned tens of thousands of people with federal uh, convictions for simple marijuana possession. And today we are joined by some of the pardon recipients so that we can have a conversation about what this has meant for them as a model and inspiration for what we must do for many others who are not at this table. And their stories, I will tell you, are proof of the importance of pardons and what it means in the life of an individual in terms of allowing them a second chance wrong, yeah. and an ability to reenter their community in a productive way. Second, we have issued a call to action for states to pardon these types of offenses, in particular on possession. <clears throat> that is why I have asked the governor of Kentucky to be here, excuse me, <clears throat> Governor Bashir, um, who has basically pardoned and, and has addressed the convictions of people in Kentucky with simple marijuana possession convictions, and they can now apply for pardons. So he's going to talk with us about that. Who gives a damn? Do you realize that uh, the context of even now with the, the civil rights bill, the different things that black folks went in the streets and fought for, like no cash bail, these things are being given to the illegals, to their butchers, to their hardcore criminals, which was supposed to be reserved for us. All right. Not getting locked up here in the cases when it came to on the books, nonviolent offenses. 
These folks got people's DNA, meat cleavers, and butcher knives here, Hoss, and are allowed to leave out of here with this non-cash bail. What's wrong with this damn system? All right, no, the same way that the white folks can go ahead and abuse drug court. They can get caught with how much ever meth here, Hoss, and they're good. All they got to do is clean themselves up, and they're Robert Downey Jr. You get caught with drugs in your black hair, Hoss, they'll put that on your ass for the rest of your life. All right? No, it's all about the bag of dope you got caught with. All right. They talk, they talk about Ray Charles. Ray Charles, one of the most baddest men here ever to touch a piano and tear it down. But you let white folks sit here and tell it, and they want to want to tell you about the dope they found on them. All right. No, skip all that. Huh? No, never mind, James Brown. I'm black and I'm proud. All right. No, in the plethora of hits, it's a man's world. Uh uh, make it funky um uh uh drive that funky soul Wh whatever you want to speak there uh lady heroin anything that you want to speak there for james brown here long catalog all right funk is what you say when you mention james brown here all right but then when they mention him they want to talk about the dope they want to talk about the, the drugs and the strange interviews in 1988 all right right no we're still on there from cnn Okay, the weird interviews and the drugs, all right, and the shotguns and him lighting people's cars up with pistols. You understand? That's what they want to talk about. All right. No, not about the genius and the man and him owning his own businesses and, and what have you. Was James Brown crazy as cat shit? Yes. All right. Oh, hold on. yes. All right. But he also was about his paper. All right. Hold on. About that as a model for what other states can and should do, and I challenge other states to follow his lead. Third, we have directed the Department of Health and Human Services and the Department of Justice to reassess how marijuana is classified under the federal drug schedule. And I cannot emphasize enough that they need to get to it as quickly as possible. No, you need to get to some goddamn reparations and stop fooling around. Get this egghead Latino out of here and stop playing in black people's face. That's what you need to do, Halsey. All right? This is bull crap here. You know, I had to cut in. She's sitting in here like she's all intense on passing some bull crap weed laws. Why? So you can go ahead and have black people off a little? All right? No, so why? So we ain't a hundred? So we're distracted? So you can give some more money to the Ukrainians and illegals and without us saying something, because hopefully, hopefully our minds are diluted enough to not be paying attention to you due to all this weed you're trying to shove upon, quote unquote, black and Latino people. And what they mean upon that is the Latino people will be open. They'll be offered uh, businesses to sell the weed to black people that will give cheap medical cards to or whatever smoking cards to. All right. That's what it says in a lump sum when they spit this black and brown because the bills, opportunities, and different things like that that is offered to this group here and those conversations here where you ain't, 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 you ain't a nigga in sight. All right. As Ice Cube said, all right, they're offering off businesses. All right, opportunities on getting loans, and this is how you get it popping, and these people right here are going to assist you with that. All right, when it comes to black folks, you know, we, well, we can help you, you know, we can help you, you know, get a smoking card. It'll be cheaper, you know, we get you a card. Huh? Right. Because at the end of the day, he says, as he said, for America needs its buffer class to replace what it needs to replace here as far as the population numbers dropping with white people. All right. Back to the bull crap here. And I really mean that. I do want to skip back to what she said because it's very disrespectful. The fact that you you're this intense for LGBTQ. She can say stuff here. No, she can speak intensely, just not all right, for black people in reparations. All right. This is how you know both administrations is a force. You don't have any friends. Neither one of them fool with black people when benign neglect is always the subject matter in order, no matter what you're talking about. Convictions of people in Kentucky with simple marijuana possession convictions, and they can now apply for pardons. So he's going to talk with us about that as a model for what other states can and should do. And I challenge other states to follow his lead. 
Third, we have directed the Department of Health and Human Services and the Department of Justice. All right, what's, what's, what's up, Rock Bush? What's going on now? All right, uh, Sister Warren is in the building. What's going on? Of course, uh, Keith Cunningham is in here. Good evening. Good evening, y'all. All right. Now, these are the early people here tonight. I'm going to keep floating in. Fat Joe looks stupid. All right. He's not going to get you any credibility. He doesn't have any. He has none to give you. All right. No, he looks like a damn fried sausage link and a button up. All right. And that's that. This looks like a cold beef rank. All right. With a beard. All right. That's what he looks like. You understand? Yeah. Justice to reassess how marijuana is classified under the federal drug schedule. And I cannot emphasize enough that they need to get to it as quickly as possible. And we need to have a resolution based on their findings and their assessment. But this issue is, um, is, is stark when one considers the fact that on the schedule currently, marijuana is considered as dangerous as heroin. Marijuana is considered as dangerous as heroin and more dangerous than fentanyl. Uh, you're letting all the drugs in here. Well, all, the drugs, all the drugs are cheap now. You get a bunch of drugs right now for cheap because you and Biden are orchestrating one of the most rawest deals in U.S. history when it comes to metro tons getting over here easy. You got folks ringing bells on buses, all right? No, cartel buses with bricks talk like cheering, all right? It's 20 and 30 of them go run right past the joint, the, the tolls here, all right? Right past the border joint. They just like smashing the gas on the here, all screaming out, yelling in celebration. All right. No, as they get 200 bricks through the joint and ain't nobody going to stop them. Huh? Speaking of drugs. No, I didn't, I didn't. Which is absurd, not to mention patently unfair. So I'm sure DA is working as quickly as possible and will continue to do so. And we look forward to the product of their work. And um, with that, I will conclude by saying that the work that we have achieved thus far is important, but there still is much more to do. And I thank the participants who are at this table. And Governor, again, I want to thank you for your leadership and Fat Joe for moderating our discussion today. You have, you stink so bad as far as pandering to black people that you have some tan wigger up in here. All right, whatever you want to call them. All right, some undesirable. Okay. All right, by, by the name of Fat Joe here. All right, no, you can't. I mean, I would assume if Fat Joe is there, you came to have an, a serious and important conversation with black people. All right, no, never mind putting an actual black person there who's going to speak for reparation. And no, Fat Joe will do. I mean, do we really have to have one of those Negroes in the room? I mean, can we, can't we just go get Fat Joe? No, let's just think about how disrespectful that is, Hoss. All right? No, oh, you wonder why we don't want any parts, man. All right? No, you wonder why we looking at cats sideways. You don't want any parts. All right? It, uh, it, it comes off disingenuous to you. All right? Because the average person ain't got no time for somebody else's bull job. You playing, man. She at that table sitting around here with these jokes. I don't know who none of these niggas is. Except for maybe damn Fat Joe in here and another weird dude. I'm just going to say Fat Joe. All right? No, we don't need real. And the black guy over here, look, we just have a dark-skinned dude in here and a black woman. All right, some spare Negroes around here. All right. And this is really the cooker. I have to go back here because she tried to lead in with this raggedy ass conversation this way as if she was bringing something to you. Ma'am, black and brown is dead. There will be no more diversifying around here. You better find somebody else to leech off of. All right. No, diversifying is 
finished as far as Friedman are concerned. All right. I'm pretty sure there's some tethers that you can shoe out there. They, they can do your bidding. But understand, we're checking hairlines, paperwork, and everything. And it's not going to be that easy to hide anymore. All right. No, it just isn't. No, it won't. It's going to become a very all right, shaky place out here as you try to front in front of people and 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 try to usher black folks to vote for nothing, dude. Reparations got to be on the table. You can't open conversations like this and have somebody, a, a fat Albert character at the table mentioning our name, trying to play game. A simple marijuana possession. And the impact is such that in particular, black Americans and Latinos are four times more likely. Four. Yeah, thanks to little dirt balls like you who use these things, as I said, all right, to, to feed her engine, to get her cooking. And let me get over here back to the end. All right, thanks to you. All right, so everything smells of, of, of filth. Nothing is insincere when you're looking across the table like, okay, I can kind of feel where she's coming from. It's always going to sound from a territory to us like it's, it's, it's phony here. Even to the cases of her not being smart enough on her lid here, after Tim Scott came out and said America is, a, is not a racist country, would you expect a Republican coon to do that? She comes out and repeats. She agrees with his sentiment. Huh? No, in, in an accidental form, she agrees with the exact same thing here. I don't even think it was a damn accident. All right. Certain puppets and coons have to stay in a mode where they don't criticize the dominant society. All right. I'm black enough to eat a couple pieces of fried chicken with you with an HBCU uh, sweatshirt on. All right. With the sh showing my edges here, Halls. All right. Doing a bank head bounce to Cardi B. This is as far as we're going to get on blackness. All right. No, when it comes to actually giving you tangibles and resources, you know, we'll just instead of we'll just get fat Joe in here. Yeah. And I keep saying his name like that for a reason. All right. He's, he's, you know, he's a clown. That you're a grown man running around here with this name. Hold on. Achieved thus far is important, but there still is much more to do. He's and not all the participants who are at this table and governor, again, I want to thank you for your leadership and Fat Joe for moderating our discussion today. Moderating. You need Fat Joe to moderate the vice president. Oh, just get off of my screen. All right. No, beat it here. And this is, hold on. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you, ma'am. Get this, hold on. Bring this trash back over here. All right. No, I, got a, I got a New Jack City barrel I'm getting ready to light on fire. All right. Take all this paperwork with it. All right. Uh, I go through the dreadful things here, Halls, for most, most of y'all, so you don't have to deal with it till you know where you're going. All right. And in that case, it's just a bunch of damn malarkey. Let me tell you here in trash, you know, as Biden says, all right, from his can we had a campaign, his original joint, he had a bus going to senior citizen homes that said no malarkey on the side. All right. That's how unpopular Joe Biden was here in this country and still is. All right. No, that's your best uh, campaign idea. Goes to go to go, excuse me, to go to senior homes with a no malarkey van. All right. So you can sit up here with these old folks here, Hoss, and, and let them know that they'll be the only folks during your administration as American citizens to actually receive benefits. No, everybody else is going to get starved out as you send billions to the Ukrainians and, and Israelis and all these other folks having wars and conflicts that don't have a damn thing to do with us. All right. Now, let's go ahead back to this because she thinks she's slick. You owe black people money here, Halls. And Kamala thinks she was going to run this abortion thing. Nobody cares about you sitting here talking about killing off babies, Halls. In the Democratic campaign, Vice President Kamala Harris visited an abortion clinic in Minnesota yesterday, something no vice president or president has ever done while in office. As Weijia Zhang reports, the Biden-Harris campaign is using the potential threat of losing abortion access to drive voters to the polls come November. Hmm. We are facing a very serious health crisis. Vice President Kamala Harris visited the Planned Parenthood Clinic in St. Paul, Minnesota Thursday, the sixth date on her tour focusing on fighting for reproductive freedoms. Extremists have proposed and passed 
laws. Sweetheart, you are telling the rest of folks there in America, Michigan, wherever you at, uh, excuse me, Minnesota, that their votes ain't truly worth anything. All right. No, to be an, the executioner upon some children, you're looking for gutter rats and 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 man hating individuals and folks here, Halls. In a lot of cases, and I'm not speaking this to the case of you being violated and some baby being forced upon you. These are the people that I file as exempt. And then in that case, I believe you deserve to go ahead to get an abortion. But if you are some loose draws individual here, Halls, all right. No, and you got to drop a load every week. No, every week, uh, the nigga with the dirty shoelaces, all right, is is preoccupying uh, your your drawers, halls. All right, yeah, I have a problem with you off and off all this damn offspring. You need to go ahead and deal with that. All right, not near child in which you sitting here producing acts to go ahead and be in this world. Nope. All right, I'm not cool with that. You can say what you want. That have denied women access to reproductive health care. Since neighboring states like North Dakota and South Dakota, along with several others, enacted full abortion bans, the clinic has seen a 25% surge in abortion cases and a 100% increase in patients from out of state. Mm-hmm. My body, my choice, instead of being pro-life, it's my body, my choice. I can throw my draws, all right, to the back of the bushes, all right? And, and, and when would you worry about it? ain't your business, all right? No, man, and this is what you end up having. They're looking for these thirsty individuals here, all. All right, to go ahead and see if they can get some votes on this side. This is trifling. All right, if anything, I, <laughs> hold on. This white man said it here in the beginning. Th this shows how much a degenerate that the Democratic Party is. This is the voters you're looking for? That's who you're looking for? Listen to what he said coming off here. In the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it back. Hold on. Paying Vice President Kamala Harris visited an abortion clinic in Minnesota yesterday, something no vice president or president has ever done. Right. No, that was the key point in the first eight seconds as you got her faced up there looking all cold, abortion clinic visit. This shit ain't cool. No, it ain't a good idea. What would you want to do that for? You trying to piss somebody off, Halls? All right, what you want to just start off an uncomfortable conversation that's going to leave people leaning on you in the first place for bringing this up because America is feeding everybody else's kids. They're getting all kinds of food stamps. No, this is what I know, Halls. I'm not, I'm not sitting here telling you about what I think. When your ass hits that grocery store and you see them Latinos lined up there with three, four goddamn grocery carts full of food, then you know what time it is. All right, that's that's food stamps, Hawks. This is coming out of ours. You understand? Meanwhile, they questioning you. All right, no, nigga, you God damn it, you got your own place here, Hawks. Uh, uh, you only make a certain amount of money here. They questioning you upon giving you damn, uh, uh, excuse me, forty two dollars worth of uh, food stamps a month, nigga. Talking about how you make too much, huh? Well, you got to show us everything you pay, and you're gonna have to show us everything. Huh? Shit, I got a full-time job if you don't give me some of them damn stamps, Halls. All right? No, I, look, I want mine. Shit. And y'all see this stuff still popping off here year to date where you go into some of your Walmarts or Targets and other stores and, and the shelves are empty, Halls. You can't even get it right. On wall in office, as Weijia Zhang reports, the Biden Harris campaign is using the potential threat of losing abortion access Shell to drive Nash, voters to the polls come November. All right, welcome, uh, uh, Shell Nash, uh, Douglas Sullivan. All right, what's going on, Rick C? I see you in the building. I see some of my regulars. I, I know Ron Neal for what, but what, man, uh, since the beginning, man, I couldn't even tell you. 
All right, but since the beginning, man, since uh my my first channel I ever had there, uh Santee Walden. All right, or the bottom line SW. All right. Way back when before they shut that down, man. All right, that's when I was just more so doing boxing. All right, but welcome back, man. We will be talking about a fighter. We ain't gonna be talking boxing necessarily. All right, if I got enough time, I'll point the camera to Ryan Garcia, which he needs, seriously needs medical help here. I'm sick of seeing this weird stuff, man, dude. Like, enough's enough, man. You are destroying your brand. Go sit down. Ever since Tank whooped your ass, you've been running around here crazy, yo. All right? No, Tank beat the shit out you. Now you've been running around here crazy. All right? No, he beat on you. You understand? Now that boy done lost his damn mind. All right? I don't know what Tank did to him. But let's go ahead and get back here to this story. All right? No, we'll say that for Ryan later on. All right? Now, I'm just letting y'all know I'm looking around at everything. Now, I don't miss nothing. I may not say a word about it. That may not be the priorities for me sitting here talking right now. But, oh, I know. Patients from out of state. It is dangerous. And it is putting my patients What's and healthcare you, providers at severe risk. Starting with its first joint rally back in January. Extremists are trying to pass a national abortion ban. The Biden-Harris campaign has put reproductive rights front and center of the presidential election. 57% of Americans and 62% of women say the overturning of Roe v. Wade nearly two years ago was mostly bad for the country. Donald Trump has touted his role in the reversal, establishing the Supreme Court responsible. But if it weren't for me with Roe v. Wade, you wouldn't even be talking about this. But says he's undecided on a 15-week national abortion ban that some Republicans support. You have to win elections. Huh? Otherwise, you're going to be back where you were. President Biden was busy on the campaign trail, too, with a stop in Michigan yesterday. It was his first visit to that battleground state since its Democratic primary last month, when more than 100,000 voters cast ballots for uncommitted instead of Biden to protest his policies surrounding the Israel-Hamas war. Gail. So what? There's not enough people here to really cause any type of significant damage. So y'all can stop that. All right, and even if they did do that, so he's not going to get anything anyway. No, he never was going to get shit. Y'all talking as if Biden is in heavy stakes to be lined up to be rewarded. He's not, dude. All right, folks are doing their best here, all right, to make sure that they hold him accountable in each step of, of just his presence alone. Just seeing some people say, hey, man, if you ain't going to kick us out no tangibles, then what's the deal? And shout out to the family. Because we're not playing, we're not playing any games, message to certain tethers at least. So I try to be fair. No, nope, I try to be fair. All right. And this is our message here today here. There's no culture, all right, ca cautionary between uh, Native Americans and African Americans. All right, hold on here. My first time I went to America. If you ask me, ooh. And you need to mind your business and focus on Africa. Right. No, right. Because you sitting your funky ass yeah, you need over there on, looks like your break time, talking about us. All right? I'm getting tick and tired, man. No, I wasn't nobody even doing nothing. She's sitting there eating that nasty ass food and shit, sitting here talking about us. Eat, eat what you cook, yo. I wouldn't want none either. It's like probably stinking there. All right, you in there by them dirty ass lockers and shit talking crazy about us. All right, what's up? All right, and you see, you start acting like Michael Blackson off of next Friday and he got thrown in the CD case. Don't hit me, John Blaze. When we lean on him, all right, and then all of a sudden they get some act right. All right, they start talking to you civil. All of a sudden, you know how to talk. I didn't mean, all I didn't mean, I you know, we know what you meant. 
All right. Please stop trying to be disrespectful here, Halls. We're not sitting around here in a setting where we're just trying to find your dusty behind. I seen this and I was just, it was only 15 seconds, man, when I was appalled. All right. Once again, to speak about how we ain't got no culture and y'all culture is sitting back talking about mocking and trying to dress in and cosplay us because your ass damn sure ain't in America running around here with dashikis on and kente cloths and all these damn golden child hats. You're not, dude. You have a, a, a black freedman's identity, his clothes, his fitted hat on, the whole nine here, Hoss. All right? So I suggest that individuals who admire our culture so much, you watch your mouth, dude, as you sit comfortably in, in a, a, a black freedman's attire. You understand? No, in our, in, in our uniform. My first time I went to America, if you ask me, ooh. And you need to mind your business and focus on Africa and stay out of our business. This has nothing to do with you or your people. Please leave this subject alone. My first time I went to America, mm -hmm. if you ask me, ooh. And you need to mind your business. There you go. Yeah. I'll keep him right there in the back there. All right, no, just to figure some stuff out here, just to get some things square. All right, stop you before you start breathing. And you know one thing that I, you know that, you know that, that, that. you don't know enough, Hawks. Some people don't know enough when to be quiet. Some folks don't know when you should go and get a chaperone. What do you mean, Santee? Look at your president, man. Look at him, man. Y'all are wrong. It's raining outside. All right. He's like, he got to put his legs in gear to get down. He got to put them in third or fourth gear to get him down. Now, I know the damn president get access to certain technology we don't get. They got nigga got his feet and, and, and kneecaps moving for him, moving by himself, man. All right. You know, they got the real deal in that shit. All right. He ain't gonna tell me. Hold on, y'all wrong. Oh no! Oh, oh god, no! Why is he like he's gonna take off and start running at any minute, man? All right, what is this? Come on, Mr. President, do you agree with Chuck Schumer? That then Yahoo should go. Y'all some damn coons, man. Why you ain't let him get destroyed? No, you came out there to save his funky ass. All right. No, where's is it, man? Where's the Secret Service at, man? What are y'all doing? Like they don't even give a damn. They done lost the damn president, man. All right. What he accidentally walked in the damn golden corral or something? What is what is he doing? All right, no, he's literally like somebody's lost granddad in the rain. How, where's the Secret Service? All right, now I just didn't even decipher in my brain like this. He had somebody yelling across the street. Yeah, why? Look, y'all ain't supposed to come save him. I'd have left his old crusty ass right out there to get destroyed by the media. All right, you're going to have to sit here and explain where the rest of these folks is at, man. I don't see nobody in sight, dude. All right, no. Like somebody granddad who got lost, who got dementia. All right, no, he accidentally got out the car. Mr. President, do you agree with Chuck Schumer that Netanyahu should go? You finally see the Secret Service. The Secret Service finally come. They finally come rushing in. Huh? No, he could have been dead already. Man, his old ass would have been dead already. All right? I'm pretty sure they had to land secure some type of way how they came on both sides. 
All right. But that wasn't a good look. He keeps walking up, looking like he about to fall forward. Get him a walker, dude. Or a cane. Oh, man. Now get him out of here. Get him out of here, dude. All right. Lord. And I'll show y'all something worse than that, man. Y'all know Wendy Williams is actually going through uh, dementia. Y'all know that, right? Like she's in a bad way. Will Spargo and sent somebody in there to control her money. But I've just seen this. Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, seeks two years of unpaid spousal support following her dementia diagnosis. Nigga, get your weird ass out of here, dude. All right? Haven't you milked a... Uh, 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 Wendy Williams, uh, Men in Black, the worm looking at, haven't you milked her enough for ducats? Didn't he have some woman on vacation? He was able to bring his side piece to vacation with him. This is how trifling he is. All right, come on, dude. Man, if you don't leave this woman alone, man, his trifling ass is trying to get his last bag up out of her. All right, he the reason why she in this damn predicament. He damn sure wasn't taking care of her. Shit, judge need to cuss his ass out. He talking about he he's old two back years of spousal. Nigga, go get a job, hoss. Show stankin' ass. You ain't got a trade yet. All right, running around here being slick willy all these years. Ain't nothing you know how to do, hoss. All right, taking a defeated woman here who don't even ain't in her right state of mind and trying to work her for two years worth of some more free funds here, dude, so you can lay up and chase these young hoes around. All right, he's trifling. All right, now I ain't going to put his picture up in there, but if you want to, you can put it up. Kevin Hunter. Y'all, some of y'all knew what that dude looked like, man. He's out of order. All right? This woman can't even fend for herself, man. Didn't you rob her enough, man? Didn't you take enough? All right? Ain't, you, like, ain't your stomach full, Hall? And you ain't good? I mean, damn. All right? You know, I think you talk about greasy niggas on the planet. Like, I'm sitting here like, damn. All right? No, I thought he was gone. I thought he got his last piece. All right. And he was in the win. And I tell you, man, the vultures do not stop picking over top of your body till you're dead, man. No, till you all the way dead. All right. Hang on. That's the case of that. Now let's go back over to Kamala Harris one more time. Because we told you she was styling and profiling back in the day, and we do got receipts. All right. No, because she was all over the place. All right. Long before she met Doug M. Hoff, she dated some prominent men, including in 2001, former talk show host Montel Williams. Back then, he was the famous one and had to introduce her to the paparazzi. Yeah, what you got a track record for upon locking Negroes up for weed. Uh, that's what I'm talking about here. No, we got your paperwork. Uh, no, I'm not here to be petty at all, but but I am. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. What's going on, Bob? Yeah, she needs to get to the border and just stand there. Uh, no, and then just stay, stand there until the, until the administration is over. Just just stand there, dude. All right. You need to lock them down. You need to close the damn border walls and the doors. They literally have them wide open, dude. All right. Residents have wrote past the borders here in Texas and in, every, in other spots here and have showed you the gates are wide open. You ain't got to climb nothing. You don't have to crawl through a damn thing. All right? You can literally waltz right up in here. 
California woman sentenced to community service after stabbing her boyfriend 108 times to death, Halls. White privilege is alive, dude. Sister Warren, Brother Cunningham. All right. Miss Cat. All right. Well, Miss Cat is fine. All right. Uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, I thought that was Patricia Slide. Yeah, hey, it's Patricia Slide. Jersey City in the house. Sandoval. All right. No, the woman stabbed the damn ex boyfriend at this point because he's dead 108 times and you're getting community service. How, what, who, what judge is this? All right. Where are we at here in America? All right. Ventura County uh, District. All right. Let me make sure I got this. Oh. Right there. Convicted of stabbing her boyfriend to death only gets a slap on the wrist. She faced the possibility of life in prison for stabbing him 108 times. Mm -hmm. But the judge ruling that she had no self-control while in a cannabis-induced psychosis. Todd Pyro is live in the studio with the shocking details. Todd. This is a head-scratcher, Ainsley. The judge is sentencing 32-year-old Bryn Speecher to 100 hours of community service, two years probation, and the big one, no jail time. She broke down in tears after a jury convicted her of involuntary manslaughter last month. California judge claims she had no control over her actions after stabbing the victim, Chad Omila, 108 times. Psychiatrists in the case claim the incident was, quote, 100 percent caused by cannabis induced psychosis after the 32 year old took two hits from the victim's bomb. She expressed remorse during closing statements, saying, quote, I wish I had known more about the dangers of marijuana. Had I known, I would never have smoked it that night or at all. Omalia's family shocked and angry over the sentencing yesterday. The victim's father accusing the judge of being biased, saying, quote, he just gave everyone in the state of California who smokes marijuana a license to kill some. Yep, he did. You damn right. Yep. If you are a white woman, and you want to get away with killing your boyfriend, just smoke some weed first and you're good. You may stab him. The limit is 108 times uh, and you're going to be good. But you better not stab him 109 times. Uh, and you, might be <laughs> you might be looking at something. Uh, now, I don't mean any disrespect. This, uh, yeah, of course, this is white problems, but this is, this is white privilege at its greatest. All uh, right. A nigga wouldn't dare sniff a day in his life where you think you're going to get a gift. This is a, a gift. All right? No, we can't send this damn poor white woman off. All right? No, she was smoking weed, man. We, you know how this weed is. I mean, sometimes it's too good. You know? Huh? Now, they didn't say she hit the pipe. She had crystal meth, okay? No no coke involved, no cocaine, all right? She wasn't on raw dope, all right? Scrambled dope, even. None. No, this, she smoked a little bit of grass and stabbed her boyfriend 108 times and got 100 hours of community service, two years probation, With the judge saying, look, man, you got to understand this weed, man. She was just under her psychosis. She just couldn't control herself, man. The weed. Well, don't everybody, shouldn't everybody put the goddamn weed down in? Oh, you're not going to do that. All right. So technically on a larger scope for California, how do you end up keeping everybody safe if this is what the hell your judges are going to do? All right. No, man, white privilege has to continue to breathe in 2024. And they're letting you know that it's well and it's alive. All right. Yes, indeed. No, this, you talking about this white woman right here? We can't just send her off. All right. There's no way she knew what she was doing. Huh? This innocent white woman. Huh? There's no way we can give her all that time. Right there, convicted of stabbing her boyfriend to death, 
only gets a slap on the wrist. She faced the possibility of life in prison for stabbing him 108 times. But the judge ruling that she had no self-control while in a cannabis-induced psychosis. Todd Pyro is live in the studio with the shocking details. Todd. This is a head-scratcher, Ainsley. The judge is sentencing 32-year-old Bryn Speecher to 100 hours of community service, two years probation, And the big one, no jail time. She broke down in tears after a jury convicted her of involuntary manslaughter last month. California judge claims she had no control over her actions after. Come on. And you like you're hoping this is a Saturday Night Live skit, but it ain't. The more sicker thing is, is this is one case out of many in America. And where the shadow white supremacy comes in here, those shadow judges. Same way with Kim Potter's case. Y'all remember she was convicted on all three counts. All right. For Dante Wright. All right. Shadow white supremacist government came in that judge and gave her two years. She was supposed to get her head hit. All right. No, she gave her two years with probation after one year, sir. All right. But completely white supremacist justice, Amber Geiger. All right, no, you walk in in Botham John's house and murder this dude. He's eating vanilla ice cream, watching Thursday night football, and gets murdered in a lazy boy in his own crib. You believe she shot him five times, dude? All right, yes. What did she get? Ten years. All right, with a bunch of coon niggas in the courtroom, giving her hugs. All right, no, one of the bailiffs was stroking her hair. The judge gave her a hug and a Bible. All right, this was some of the most horrific shit I've ever seen, Hawks. All right, no, when it's time for white supremacy to pay the price, the court, especially if you got the cameras in there, the courtroom gets real funky, man. All right, no, the justice system all of a sudden gets, it, it, it aligns itself on code. And guess what? Ain't nobody going to prison. All right. This white woman was able to go home because, as I always say here in the cases for the Diamond Society, white supremacy ain't doing no prison time, man. They just go to court. All right. When they got big cases like that, they go into court and that's it. All right. Yeah. And at the end, all right, even though the jury convicted her and she was supposed to get her head busted, here comes the judge. Oh, this is a poor white. This is white woman look like my granddaughter. Yeah, she looked just like my great. I, we can't do this to her. All right. Recognize. All right. That white supremacy works as a team sport. After stabbing the victim at Chad Omila 108 times, psychiatrists in the case claim the incident was, quote, 100 percent caused by cannabis induced psychosis after the 32 year old took two hits from the victim's bomb. She expressed remorse during closing statements, saying, quote, I wish I had known more about the dangers of marijuana. Had I known, I would never have smoked it that night or at all. Omalia's family shocked and angry over the sentencing yesterday. The victim's father accusing the judge of being biased, saying, quote, He just gave everyone in the state of California who smokes marijuana a license to kill someone. The woman and the victim were dating for only a few weeks before his death in 2018. Mm. And she went into a blank rage. Recognize that the gentleman here in question is not even here to defend himself here here today. He's not here to, to say what this situation was about. The only one person left out of that deal. All right. And I, and I doubt any one of us would go ahead and survive after somebody that stabbed your ass 108 times. There is no justification. She showed no humility to anything. Damn weed. All right. That's a savage. All right. No, you got a, 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 enough craziness in you. For some joker you just met here in the heat of passion to stab you. You know how much force it takes to stab an individual 108 times? (laughs) 
Ain't no misunderstandings here. There is no, oh, well, I didn't really, that wasn't my, of course it was. You stabbed that joker after he stopped moving, Hawk. You were still stabbing him. Crazy. All right. And they're going to play silly with you. I want you to, I'm blowing her face up. So I want you to remember this here, Hoss, when she goes and stabs somebody else. You know, after her next batch of quote unquote weed. All right. No, and she gets the next victim. Uh, go ahead, times that by two. So, so what is that? She gets the next victim 216 times she stabs him. All right. Right. All right. I'm just putting the emphasis on it getting worse. That's all. All right. No, it'll be getting worse around here. That's on them. All right, she's loose in y'all community, man. Look, man, a lot of y'all cats here that are interested in Wonder Bread, you will catch hell here here today. Now, speaking of some of these women floating around here, that woman who is uh, responsible for stabbing the brother before he ended up getting shot in the head, uh, he said police are searching for that woman who stabbed the dude. Now, as far as the guy, they've already ruled that they're not going to charge him. They already put that out here. I read that earlier. Chilling, that horrifying shooting on board a subway train yesterday in Brooklyn. As our top story continues this morning, extended video revealing a woman police are now looking for. She was with the 32-year-old suspect when they got into a verbal discussion, an argument. A physical dispute broke out with the shooting victim. And then it all happened on board an A train in downtown Brooklyn. The 36-year-old victim now in critical but stable condition. And this comes at a time when subway safety is really top of mind for New Yorkers. And they have questions. We have questions. We are joined now by MTA chair and CEO, Jenna Lieber. Thank yeah. you for being with us. I, I watched the video that was shot on the train as I rode on the subway to work this morning with tears in my eye. The fear I felt on behalf of those passengers, I can only imagine they were stuck on a Stop. I don't want to hear you, white woman as you start exaggerating and all this extra. Nah, we can do away with you right now, and we will. Just wanted to give everybody further updates on the matter there, all right? CBN News. Hold on, what we got on over here? Uh, I got to look at this specifically before I do anything. All right, Harris stumps at, stumps at a abortion clinic, pro-lifers slam extreme agenda. All right, in other words, there were counter protesters at her uh, abortion setup that she had there, which good. I have no problem with that, man. You need to be met with some resistance, especially when your ass ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right. Now, let me go on over here to what's trending because I keep seeing Don Lemon's name pop up. I, you know, I did with this a couple of days ago, but for any updates, I'm willing to look at some of these things. Huh? Yeah. Now it's time to throw dirt on you. Yep. Hold on. I told you about messing around with these white supremacist man in the games here because their machines work further. So they're claiming Don Lemon demand Tulsa Cybertruck. All right. A Five million advance. All right. E equality and X. All right, uh, let's go, hold on. In X before Elon Musk canned him, sources. All right, so they, they, they're flashing this. A lot of people are retweeting this. And you have the old clip here that he had here with him speaking on the show. That people see folks like you and I who have different worldviews come together and talk, as he says, uh, have free speech. Free speech is only important when someone you don't like, or I would say someone who doesn't have your same point of view, are someone is if they're allowed to speak freely and to that's very goddamn true but we knew this money is not gonna let crab cake jokers here who depend on a check from them and aka i'm your boss 
All right. No, I'm not going to let you come in here and start speaking to me like as if we're on the same level. I'm not, dude. You're suffering from hard times. I'm giving you an opportunity. You've been invited to X. I'm giving you an interview all right, to promote your stuff, to get it off the ground. Now, you can either keep a cool relationship with that person and be able to work, or you can take a chance here, Hoss, and like he did, get your show canceled. And now have the New York Post coming after you talk about the money that you were demanding before you got off the ground. Nobody's entitled to give you any more bread. The severance package in which CNN uh, gave to you, Halls, those were your last big dollars from the dominant society upon sitting on your ass and not doing anything. Which means for you corny ass dudes that sat around here for 17 years, you're going to actually have to have some talent. You can't sit in front of the rest of the world with white supremacists like talking points with these clowns, all right? And your approach towards asking him about racism or anti-Semitism and all is, is very passive aggressive. There's no imaginary group that's going to come in here to help you take apart Elon Musk. If anything, it's going to be the other way around. Why? Because individuals have been privy to wanting to get close to the money. What's closer to the money than the, the richest man in the world? All right. Now, I, I'm not the sharpest man in the world here, but uh, one of the sharpest butter knife here in the drawer, all right, as I would say, but coming through the door to establish some core things and to get yourself off the ground. I'm going to put it to you like this. There was other things that he could have asked that could have, that would, would have been less offensive here, but informative upon the, upon the people to keep his deal in place. You ain't rocking the boats and, and challenging white supremacy by having a horrendous interview and then trying to force this online as if he's bringing the source of something that we didn't know. All right. Which one of these rich, wealthy individuals don't want to censor, cancel, block, delete, fire uh, them underneath of the cases of you interfering with their bottom line, uh, which is usually their uh, uh, ability to be able to make dollars here, all right? None of them are going to allow you to do that. And to say their point of view. Apparently that doesn't matter to Elon Musk. It's just for maybe talking points for him or, or rhetoric because uh, it, it doesn't seem to matter when it's about him, questions about him from people like me. All right. So when you said that, I wanted to play some of the clips because some of them are illuminating. These are clips that, that you, you shared with us. Um, this is a part of the conversation with Musk where you ask him about hate speech. Here it is. Hate speech on the platform is up. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates. I to don't Democrats. have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think? I am not subject, Don, to the rules that you have to abide by. No, you have to apologize and say excuse me and thank you and you know, my bad, pardon me, and I didn't mean to offend anyone. You got to do that, all right? As a bought and paid for a Negro, this is what we put you niggas in place for. I'm a white man. No, I can get subsidized free cash in which I'm living off of y'all anyway here, all all right? I can run my shit through my social media platform where nobody can snatch him down, dude. No, he owns Twitter. That's his. All right. So nobody don't matter how mad you get at this white man There's nothing you can do about it. All right. So he's right. No, in all sense of the matters, here, is the U.S. taking anything away from him from SpaceX and all this free money? No. All right. So technically, through the aspects of individuals with good sense here, he doesn't have to do any interviews. You know, you don't have to answer a damn thing. Just by that point alone, with you coming in here stupid like that, dude, got you got you shut down in here. You have to be clever in the context if you're going to ask questions like that. This ain't your damn CNN backing platform here where they run in and say, hey, well, you, like, 
well, we tried to do this and he wasn't, even for those cases here, they ain't trying to deal with that. All right. Because for most of these little media companies, they want their uh, promotional dollars here. In a lot of sense, this comes from these wealthy people here. All right. No, in America, the Jeff Bezos is in others. All right. This is just a dumb move in my book. I, think that I don't have to answer questions from the reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think yeah. that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly. Was... I could care less. Yeah, and get in trouble by who? Who who is who's gonna come in here to put this white man? I'm Syria. I'm so sensitive. Who? You better stop before we cancel you. You what group here, Hoss? And how are they gonna do that? Mm hmm Stupid is stupid. All right. Now you made something obvious here, but at what cost? And like I said, at the end of the day, he can still he's still in a place to be able to upload his videos on Twitter. He can still do that. He just doesn't have this show anymore. Illuminating in so many ways. All right, I have two. I have two things I want to ask. Mm -hmm. Let me go back down here because that's what's trending is the cases of his circumstances of something about asking for five million up front. Now, would I say that he's worth? If he can get it, I would like to see him get it. All right. But unfortunately, he didn't get it in these circumstances. And the dominant society is going to use every ticket that they have there against you. All right. In order to make you look silly out here. All right. That's just what the cases are. And you're asking him about getting in trouble and all of this silly ass shit here. All the, only, the only context of a person getting in trouble, that means that. That, no, there's somebody in in the cases of uh, that you would have to uh, hear to, all right. If things ain't going right, you would have to go ahead and see to them and rap to these people if what you're doing isn't correct. He don't have nobody there at that level, all right. Stupid is stupid, Don. And at the end, I'm gonna put it to the cases of this if you got some way of dismantling systematic white supremacy and you have been a person here that's been on code like myself and others. We can deliver you the good talking points there to go after uh, uh, an Elon Musk, an Africana, who I don't care for at all. All right. No, another tether here sucking off of our damn titty here, Hoss. We're showing you America don't care. Look, if, if, as long as you ain't from these, this soil here, we're willing to beef you up and make you the richest person in the world. All right. Meanwhile, you as a black person, you can't go to the government here and get a damn $10,000 grant. All right, twenty thousand dollar grant, but his funky ass can get as much money as he wants every year. All right, I'm talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that he never has to pay back. All right, no, I really want you to think about that, dude. All right, absolutely. This is the time and the era in which we're living in. So when you talk about the hypocrisies of pulling yourself up, bootstraps up, and this, that, and the third here, halls. Uh, these these songs and dances here are only for certain people. And you look, they, they, these songs and dances are only for us here. When they talk about working until you die. Now, I had another clip that I did want to show you guys. All right, about a brother that was sitting back spitting some fire here, and um, I can spit it to y'all. What it was is this: Nikki Haley was it Nikki Haley here? One of these jokers. All right. Uh, it wasn't Nikki. If it wasn't Nikki Haley, it was another one of these uh, politicians. But what her deal was on the books here was is that um, they're going to have to change the age up for Social Security to 70 something years old. And the truth of the matter is, as the lady was talking this specifically, she was pretty much telling you, look, you're going to have to work until you die, dude. All right. And it gave confirmation to a lot of stuff I've been sitting here saying. For the Gen Z's around here, dude. No, you have to work until you in the mud, man. All right? No, until you out of here. All right? If all these jokers here have these abuses here on the cases of Social Security and what has destroyed your system right now from all the illegals that have been able to pile up in here, inflation, the whole deal, well, don't you believe that things got to balance themselves back out? Yes, they do. And in that process, while you waiting, some folks, Social Security here, you're the age limit. By the time we get here, nigga, ain't going to be nothing left. 
at all. All right, not at all. And for some of these pensions, as I told you guys, breaking it down, this shit is supposedly supposed to uh financially protect you and keep you papered up for about five years. It was never built for niggas to keep living off of. All right. These are them packages that the old dried up ass Democrats keep giving out, dude. That's how folks can keep doing it and then raising the limit of how much money you're going to get. All right. That's why you see certain old folks here underneath the Biden administration balling out of control because those are the individuals, the only people that ended up getting something out of his presence being around. Let me switch gears here. Now, it was a dude here, gentleman. Now, he went to take his old lady out for her birthday. She decided to bring all her homegirls. Now, you got these greedy ass, full stomach homegirls. You ain't you ain't got no man. No, you ain't got no man. All right, because if you did, your man should have been there to pay for you a meal. All right, you don't get to bring 10 homegirls. You want me to pay for everybody's food? No. Oh, hell no. I don't care how much wealth you sitting on. You came to invite her out for her birthday, all right? You know how it is with some of these young ladies. At least 80% of the, the sisters that's right there she around, she don't even fool with like that, all right? All this fronting for people year to date, it don't get you nothing, but it, all, it destroys good relationships that you got left, all right? I recommend for brothers and sisters out here, for no fronting, dude. All right, this shit don't look cool. We everybody out here, folks ain't in no damn Hollywood life, no matter how much you would like to be. All right, for most of us, we're in practical, practical standards of living. All right, no, you got bills to pay, you can't afford to be doing too much fronting, and that's what it is. And ain't nothing wrong. Hold on, ain't nothing wrong with that. It's the fronting I can't deal with. Because you know the deal here, all right? Not spending a whole lot of money for certain people requires us staying at home or being a lot more comfortable chilling in the crib here and having more money. Cool. Because, you know, going out, damn near to do anything is going to cost you something, all right? No, not unless you're just going around the park to throw a football or, or getting some cases of some, something recreational there with the park. That's different, all right? But you're talking about entering the movies or to certain, uh, you know, Different forms of entertainment and what have you. It's going, it's going to run you a few dollars. All right? It is. And no problem. As I said, once again, it's her birthday. She should be able to have whatever she feels like she needs, except for you paying the bill for a bunch of grown, hungry-ass damn females, all right, who came to get the biggest plate and whatever they wanted to get here, Halls, because they know they didn't have to pay for it. Now, I'm not with that, dude. You go get a free meal somewhere else. Like really or if that's the case, you pay for all these heifers to eat. Like you really just should have paid for all of our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's food. You it's your birthday food, but food. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why don't you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 friends. I'm going to leave you. You been here with him or you coming with me? You, are you? Yeah, and nobody wants a thirsty broad. Nobody wants a snake-eyed, cock-eyed, uh, thirsty, I got to hide my wallet in drawers at the same time, broad. You don't. No, you're right. I hear you. You're correct. You're entitled to what you need, sweetheart. All right. Some, some heifer sitting up in here trying to find ways to burn to waste money. And when a woman is going to buck up on you in public to try to front on you, then this should be your last encounter, dude. Now, I'm very serious on this. You get one time to do that. After you done came out your pocket, you done bought presents, you done sat up in here. All right, no, nah, this ain't love and hip hop. You might as well audition for the show because you're going to have a lot of free time. All right. Very disrespectful here, Hawks. And when you see some of these cats here who don't want to take the risk, you might end up you're dealing with a good individual. That's a cool person there. Moment the lips start to get extra to this entitlement type of joint, like you support, like Hawks. 
All right. No, the humility don't exist anymore. The natural natures of that uh, femininity, even now that one sister I was sitting there listening to was an older head. She was talking. She said, you, number one, you never hit a man where he's weak at. Number one here. And number two, for personal matters here, which still should be number one there, that stuff that y'all handle privately. You understand? No, you don't come off in front of a crowd. If you don't want to be, I don't need a broke ass nigga. And you got 50 buffaloes behind you trying to, all right, trying to make sure that they get their free meal paid. No, hell no. You failed at getting a man? Oh, well, you need to reach in that purse of yours. All right, you failed. All right, you didn't qualify for getting a man. You need to go and work an extra job then. Sorry. All right, maybe, hey, maybe you need to be a little bit more kind-hearted then. A little bit more thoughtful. All right, chasing Negroes off in hot girl summer, all right, will leave you to paying for your own meal. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why don't you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 things. I'm going to leave you. You been here with him or you coming with me? You... Yeah. And nobody wants a thirsty broad. Are you? Oh, bro! You got this cold nigga screaming in there. That ain't your homeboy. He ain't your man, Jeeva. All right. Let me say that. I don't fool with a lot of you damn thirsty niggas. Because at the end of the day, he probably ain't got two nickels worth to rub together as he's screaming and yelling and making all that damn noise. No, the loudest nigga in the room, in most cases, he ain't got it, dude. You got to compensate in other orders for being a dusty, broke nigga following people around. You have to compensate, all right, for not having any ends. So you make a whole lot of noise and scream out, I don't like you niggas. All right, you have never disguised and got over on anyone. All right, you're not funny, you're ashy. All right, and I'm uncomfortable. Uh, let me tell you, I'm uncomfortable around individuals who ain't got nothing going on with their life. All right, I'm dead serious. You ain't doing nothing. You just, all right, I'm not standing here too long. Time is precious. All right, if I wanted to fail, I would sit back and ask you tips, dude, on how to feel comfortable in the back of a rat hole. All right, no. That, that I can't do. All right, but this here, let me go ahead back here to this here, checking these boxes here just to make sure that we good. All right, ain't going to get you nothing here year to date. All right, but cut off, all. That's it. Brothers ain't going for it. And even for some of the sense that you can run that game on, that weak ass game, all right, at some point they're gonna wake up, Hawks. All right, that's the truth. At some point, you'd rather they go broke or look, they just lose patience with it here, Hawks, as they catch you trying to run game, but they're not gonna deal with it for too long, dude. All right, that type tap in your pockets type of thing in order or trying to disrespect a man's character. All right, be, because you refuse, all right, to kick out ends for, for women who failed in getting a man. All right, no, you're not the representative for them. You're not. All right. What happened to this girl? What happened to this young lady? Let's fight for uh, Sierra Patterson. Is she a freedman? All right, because I'm fighting for freedmen. Hold on. Yeah, that's who I'm fighting for. Oh, uh, Patterson, she might be. Let's go check her out. I'll put you up here, sweetheart, because all right, when I see my people in here, everybody may not know. All right, depending on circumstances. And I... I hate the fact that we got to go to these white supremacist institutions anyway. I really don't like it. I'm also an IB and honor student. I have done cheer for Laura Richmond since I was 13 years old on varsity every year. I'm enlisted in the SC National Guard. With Hold on. I'll get to her later on. I can't do this right now. No, I've been and went off and said something. 
Uh, yeah, I'm checking my temperature already. I got to check it before I get started. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you say check yourself before you wreck yourself. Hold on. Foods laid off. 1,200. People are losing paper. They're talking about all these jobs they're creating for illegals. And the folks in the economy should be so happy here, Hoss, because they're creating all these jobs and the economy, you know, inflation's going down and all this shot that don't mean anything. All right. Because you sat there and backed the truck up and gave a bunch of damn jobs to some illegals here, Hoss. Does not mean that you helped the economy blossom out here, Hoss. It just means you gave a bunch of illegals a gig. That's all it means. They will great gracefully waste the money on lottery tickets and, and every damn thing else. Bicycles and foolishness. We've already seen this. All right. Heavy drug use. You got busloads of dope fiends from other countries getting dropped off over here. Yes, you do. All right. Got America, it already in Appalachian and all these other parts here in Kingston, out in Philadelphia, where it already looks like a damn, all right, a, a disaster here. All right, it looks like Armageddon. All right, no, with white folks, all right, then not at all, literally sleep on a damn, on a concrete sidewalk like this is a tempurpedic or some posturpedic mattress here, all. All right, that's how bad the drugs are over there. Two junkies falling asleep, sleep broad daylight in a wheelchair. All right, not no, not white, of course. All right, but that's what you're seeing over here. The dope has never been so plentiful here in America. All right, during the quote unquote drug crisis. All right, as they're literally catching organizations and cartels, a large amount of members here in America involved in everything from drugs to the racketeering, to prostitution, all right, to RICO charges like deals here, Halls, that the government is pussyfooting upon, though they know of these cartels' existence here in America. So according to Reuters, Tyson Foods laid off 1,200 employees this week in Perry, Iowa, claiming there has been a drop in demand for some of their products. Mm -hmm. But they're planning to hire 52,000 migrants at their factories. And according to Newsweek, they announced this week that they are planning to hire asylum seekers that arrived in New York. Man, somebody's going to get stabbed, dude. First thing I'm thinking is an individual getting stabbed. You can't pull the blade out of a person's ass. Tell me every time you turn around, no, no person poked up, man. It's a record numbers of stabbings here in the U.S. I know it is. I especially New York City, but I know it's a record number of stabbings alone. All right, so you can add, add, add that over there to Tyson's food, as you might see somebody gutted over here. All right. No, right next to this chicken that's being chopped up. Huh? Who knows? City. They have a program, they say, that will alleviate the headache for city leaders that complain about having too many migrants. The migrants will be offered $16.50 an hour, along with other benefits that include temporary housing, child care, and legal aid. God damn, pay all your pay all your bills and fill your refrigerator. Huh? Feed your family, turn your mans to a hater. Huh? That's what the government is prepared to do. All right, for these jokers. It ain't just a job, my mans, my sister. It ain't just a gig. No, you're getting Roman boy. Hmm? No, you get Roman boy. Huh? As the old folks used to say it to me. All right? You getting the whole nine. You getting, all right, you know, you know, oh, 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 you can hold on to your money. No, hold on to your money. No. All right, we, all expenses paid. Huh? Well, this is for the migrants exclusively. You see, if you walk your ass up there as a freedman, they're going to be looking at you crazy. 
All right. You know, you laid off 1,200 to hire 24,000. Fifty cents an hour, along with other benefits that include temporary housing, child care, and legal aid. They will be given free representation. So now, as you can imagine, there are calls for boycotting Tyson Foods. So, yeah, you ain't get my money. There's plenty of other produce joints that I can buy other than Tyson's. You got Purdue, you got all these others, you got the store brand. I, I don't have to spend money with Tyson's. Let them fill it. If you're not going to be America first for the soil over here, let illegals go and get you some money then. Tell them 42000 to make sure that your paper is good nationwide. That's how I feel. All right. If you can't sit up there and offer the same things for Freedman as much long as black folks been working in this damn country and you take a piss on us, huh? And tell us, tell us it's raining, huh? Piss on our boots, all right? And tell us it's raining here, hoes? No. How about you get no more ends? How about you, how about we turn your goddamn on water off, hoes? All right, and we'll see how much money you can collect off these migrants off the back end if that's a, such a good idea. And this should also open your mind to the context of what the hell these other companies can actually do for you versus that little ass check that they try to negotiate you for every week or every two weeks where they're not trying to pay you anything like that. They're willing to get these damn jokers a check plus Roman board. Child care and legal aid. They say that will alleviate the headache for city leaders that complain about having too many migrants. The migrants will be offered $16.50 an hour, along with other benefits that include temporary housing, child care, and legal aid. This is to displace black folks here so they can start running their lips, their crusty white supremacist lips talking about some, oh, well, y'all do your bootstraps. They work hard. Well, why don't you work hard? Nigga, you ain't giving no bennies out to us like that. You're a liar. All right? You guys' presence is based upon individuals not paying attention to the fine lines and context of where you say that these illegals really don't have to work hard for anything. But a black person or a black family is going to have to be conditioned to the sacrifices of three to four goddamn jobs to be able to have a decent life to take care of them and their kids. All right. But that's what it says here. No, you would have to work your fingers to the bone. OK, you know, Maria and Vasquez over there, they're good. They get to go on vacation. They can return home. They can tuck a couple of dollars. They don't got to pay rent. You, you better have that damn 1600 1700 every month or I'm going to threaten you. All right? No, I'm going to walk in here and threaten you with homelessness. You understand me? All right? No, I feel some type of way about this. Huh? No, I will wag my dirty white supremacist finger at you, Negro, and threaten you about how you better come up with every damn old. Well, your ass is out of here. All right? That's why you had certain advocates, shout out to 50, coming out here talking about Los Angeles, a little dirty behind, talking about some, you're going to go ahead and kick out. Uh, two years worth of free rent for what, dude? Why? Hmm. But why though, Halls? Why? Because the circumstances here, Halls, are, are simple and plain. You were meant to be displaced by this group of tethers. There is no theory upon a great replacement theory here, Cases. There's only what you know and what you can see. And by what your eyes show you here, Halls, is they mean to give you the business as a black person. 
Mm-hmm. Everybody else got some funds they can reach to. All right. You no, know, you got a community, you have something, a town, you have a center you can grab a hold to. You got that, you got this. All right. Let me go ahead and move forward with this sister. No, I, I got to keep moving forward. They will be given free representation. So now, as you can imagine, there are calls for boycotting Tyson Foods. So distract everybody with a burning story in the media, right? TikTok, the House passing measures to get rid of TikTok and everybody's paying attention to that. And this is what they're doing in the background. Have these corporations lost their mind? <laughs> they seem to be going rogue. Newsweek is pretty reputable, so I'm inclined to believe what I read. And it's And they edited those pieces out. I would have loved what she said to hear what she said. They keep hold on. super power. cash payment land and no taxations. What's going on? Podcasts say black people should have shouldn't have to pay taxes. Yeah, but you niggas don't have any credibility. That's your problem. You don't. Tiffany, uh, Sonny Hoskins said to Van Jones, <clears throat> black people don't trust you. And why is this a big deal to a little scammer and dirtbag like her? I got to get on your case, Effa. All right? Because to her... You, she don't give a shit about black folks, period. This is about making sure that she doesn't have to pay higher taxes upon the wealth and the riches in which white society gave to her. That's her concerns on iHeartRadio, talking this lame stuff to you. Do you guys recognize Faison Love came in an interview saying the exact same stuff to Vlad TV, talking about all we going to do is buy rims with the money? All right, even though he's a tether, he ain't even qualified for reparations. Oh, and then he started saying we talking French real quick. Uh, what we need to do is, is, is make sure that you know we don't gotta pay taxes. Oh, that's your priority. This is something you're separate on. That's why I say coons are consistently rather they think they slick or not, opening up to show you about what their personal agendas are. All right, even as they try slick not to expose themselves, it is what it is. All right, now what we need is cash payments here. We need reparations here as free. We don't need uh, some other forms of, of watered down versions of, of trash where the top is being able to eat and see the grasp of all these damn benefits. All right, but the poor side here in America is still suffering. All right. No, these things ain't here by happen sense. Make sure I go ahead to fast forward. All right, white on white violence. All right, two girls fighting. This is all through YouTube. You don't do all right. A morning drunk white male on vacation in Jamaica apparently thought he paid for the I uh, bill or whatever this is, belligerent all. And inclusive package. He was quickly uh, reprimanded and then encouraged to mind his business. What the hell happened here? No, what happened to this stupid ass white man here? Did something happen to him? All right. If y'all did, shout out to wherever this happened. At. Hold on, we'll be right back. Got money for shit. You ain't got money for shit. That, that's, you don't do that. You can't do Come that. Come over here. Come over here. Do not stop me. Do not throw Take a video of this. Yeah, bad boy, yeah. Bad boy. No, no, bad boy. No, no, bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Come over here and do something about it. Come over here and do something about it. Ah, man. Do something about it. Come. That's invading my privacy. Yeah, and watch That's it. That's invading my privacy. And watch, and watch this, right? He's making pictures of me. Get that fucking phone. Look, he relax yourself. Relax. Don't get in the way. Relax yourself. Let go of him and let me make him come here. Make him come here and see if he's. You don't touch her. Her blood clot, yo. Oh, man. Oh, man. He thought he was going to get a free meal. 
Now, y'all are trifling. Do you know they stinking asses try to sit down everywhere and eat for free because they white in these countries? Do y'all know that? No, no, no. no. These, these white supremacists, man, these little white folks that go there in Africa and the continent. Uh, some of these spots are let them do it. This is true. Let them get free drinks, free food, and don't never charge him nothing, dude. All right. So he got his little funky ass over there. He ain't washed his butt. All right. He walking like his back stank. He looked like Ducey off the first screen movie. All right. With them glasses on. All right. Whatever he's doing. All right. And it's trifling. You understand? He walking like he got three and a half horse flies on his back, man. You know he stank, man. All right. No, he look at him. You know, you know he didn't wash, man. All right. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. All right. Ain't no way in hell your fingers stuck together like that and you didn't bathe. All right. What you been doing? Huh? He's mad. No, this is got a dirty white man in here who's mad that he couldn't get a free meal. Mm. 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 Huh? He was prepared to kill somebody in there. You understand? No, he could have went down. He was like, what do you mean? I can't get a free meal. Got Why money for shit. Me? You ain't got money Why for shit. That, that's you said you ain't got you come over here. Come over here. Come on. Too much talk, please. Do not throw Take a video of this. Yeah? Bad boy, yeah? Bad boy, yeah? No, bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Come over here and do something about it. Come over here. Come on, man. Yeah, come. Do something about it. Come. That's, that's it. No, because you ain't got no ham. What you doing in there? Now, y'all think y'all can colonize and go into every spot and then put your foot up to your dirty feet on the coffee table and demand service. All right? You ain't getting nothing but the work. It's nice in there. It's all clean in there. Get out. All right? You don't fit. He's staying in the seats in there. You got to probably got a dirty pair of pants on. He's going to sleep outside somewhere. Trying to creep in there and get a free meal. All right? Don't get mad because you ain't had no paper. No, he called you out. All right? Just in case anybody want to know why he throwing glass. No, because he ain't had no ducat. Y'all go all over the, the Caribbeans and the continent sitting in their damn restaurants doing this shit. All right? And you're trifling. Listen to me. You're trifling, Hoss. You think anybody going to call you out? You talk about having a lack of class and dignity. All right? And he's a quote-unquote American citizen in other people's country like this. Trifling. Don't you ever speak upon Friedman's name. No, you thought you weren't going to get caught. We got you. All right? You're trifling. All right? No, they get over here and, and get over there and play them type of games, and he end up getting stretched out by a young lady over there. All right. Now you he went to bed with an empty stomach, dude. She made <laughs> she, <laughs> she made him put them pajamas on with an empty stomach, Halls, for acting up. All right. You damaging property and throwing stuff, white man. Like, come on, dude. Like it's like, yo, chill out, man. Calm down, yo. All right. Next thing you know, he gets stretched out. And young lady comes, get black woman comes stretch him out. All right, now you're hungry. You now you're hungry, sleep, and your back hurt. All right, the way you went down, and you already seen his fingers stuck together, dude. That's what at least it looked like, man. I ain't trying to make fun of nobody. I'm just saying this is the way his posture looked when he walked up before he got put to sleep. Got Why money for sure. Ain't got money Why for sure. That, that's you don't do that. You can't do Come that. Come over here. Come over. Here. Come on. Too much talk, please. Please, do not talk Take a video of this. Yeah? Bad boy, yeah? Bad boy, yeah? No, bad boy. No, bad boy. Bad boy. Move, move, move. Come over here and do something about it. Come over here and do something Ah, oh, man. Uh, do something about it. You have blood blood. You come. That's, that's invading my privacy. Yeah. And what? That's it? invading my privacy. And, and, you, and I'm a white man. And I deserve a free meal. I have superior rights and discretion. Yeah, you gotta understand. I'm a white male. All right. And this is more I'm white now. Say so. You're trying to exact authority. That's their land over there. You where they at. 
All right. No, they might have still gave his funky ass a free meal. All right. When he was out of order, she tried to shove him away. You understand? And then she had to put her whole foot in his ass. Right. And watch and watch this right. Get that fucking phone. Look, Key, relax yourself. Don't relax. get in the way. Relax yourself. Let go of him and let him make him come. Don't me. Me. Make him come here and see if he's here. You don't touch her. Her blood clot, yo. You understand? Now you understand. All right? You ain't getting nothing to eat, all. All right? You ain't getting nothing. You take that shit up the block. All right. And funky jokers come down in them countries. We walk around with kids and all that. No, nah, man. You should have been giving them the business. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you want to force people to respect what you got going on. It takes resistance, Hawks. All right. Now, I don't care, brother or sister. I don't care where it takes resistance. Somebody is going to have to get flexed on. Huh? I'm going to be a joker here. One of you white supremacists is going to have to get stretched out in here talking crazy. All right. I have to make an example of you. You understand? Now, this is how the respect starts coming and punks start moving out your way and people remember to watch their mouth. That's how that happens. All right? You know? No, we start here with circumstances like this. No, I give a salute. I ain't hating at all. I give a salute. All right? Yes, I do. You see me one of the first people here to give a, this is what needs to go on every day. You put enough uh, uh, resistance, all right, on these jokers crashing in for a free meal, then all of a sudden, no, nobody want nothing to eat no more. You understand? In other words, you ain't giving out no meals for free, and you ain't got to deal with filth like this. You see, they go around and destroy each part of their societies here, and with their undesirables, they, they, they take these pieces of filth to send them down where black people live at. All right, it's about time. Huh? No games being played. You come in other people's land, you show respect, dude, or you get the business. Ain't two ways about it. Ain't there is not a third option. All right. Now I appreciate the cases for Jamaica setting some standard over here of what it's going to look like for 2024. I hope you guys hold this standard of resistance. Huh? Look at it. No, get a look at it. All right? No, optimism is something else here. They might try to slow us down in here. Optimism is something else. All right? And they don't like to see any of these white folks here all right, stretched out on the floor with a woman standing over top of you that done slept, damn near slapped you to sleep. All right, black woman standing over top of you. You don't like to see anything like this, but this is what you got to give her. All that showing 32 teeth and doing the tribal dance. All right, when a white man shows up, look, these days need to be cut short. All right, that's it. Mm-hmm. And be lucky you didn't run in the main, man. All right? No, I want to say be lucky that she kept you away from dude. Those were uh, light touches compared to the ass whooping in which you really could have got here. All right? No, I'm just saying here. Mm-hmm. Hold on. And the racists are the ones that's trying to start a race war, want to blame the crimes on black folks. Uh, don't know about, and I see don't nobody want to really true start a race war. I hear people saying that, but uh, as as I always point to evidence, George Floyd during that time, all them black folks are on the streets here every day getting it in. Well, the white supremacist groups were out here too, but you notice when you had large groups of black folks anywhere here during that time, 
at white white supremacist groups and all that. They used to somehow be on the other side of town. No, even when certain black folks would crowd these police departments, you didn't see any of these white supremacist groups pop up. No, you didn't. Nope. All right. So that's so if you wanted some smoke, you could have had it. No, you cats like to cosplay and sit in the woods with fatigues on and threaten people. You're not truly going to get it popping. When there's any cases of even odds between white folks and black people out here, white folks get the hell out of Dodge. They start running. All right. Their angle is being able to be able to sneak attack somebody. If they can't attack a child or some elderly person or a woman here, Hawks, in most cases, they don't want no confrontation. All right. Unless they know they got you uh, in some type of, uh, they have you as far as the odds is concerned numbers all right so i would say uh and back in its term lynch mob no it took a hundred of you pale jokers here to go snatch one black person out the house all right no this just shows you how much you validate your own strength mm -hmm. no i need a hundred jokers here no i need two grown men to snatch emmett till out the house Always showing a history of cowardice. All right. Now, I'm just giving you the real. And they are putting these clips out here, too, as well, of uh, trying to boost the stand of the black people shoplifting. I'm not going to show that. Not at all. Hold on. What is this me outside in the club? Oh, man. Well, we'll end with this. Right on time. I'm ready to get out of here anyway. It's Friday. I feel great. All right. I'm going to kick it and chill for a second here, Halls, and, and take me a damn nap. All right. And a good little while here. Mm-hmm. Now. Back to, to Harris's nonsense here. Now, I'm glad they got something, at least on the books, that sounds like somebody's going to say something correct in here. And the capacity of all the frustration and noise and people patty caking around and make sure that they don't offend certain folks and call things way out of context. All right. You hope that at least one person is going to keep it real. All right. Yeah, you know, he is someone who he doesn't often use the word abortion himself. I don't think that's totally surprising. He's an 81 year old Catholic and mm -hmm. his views on this issue have evolved. Do you think that he should lean more into that, though, over the next eight months? Use that word as often as possible on the campaign trail? Well, you're right. And I think each person, as they start to try and understand this, and you can hold two things are not mutually exclusive, that people of, of deep faith can also understand that a woman's right to make these choices is important. I do think it was important to listen to uh, Vice President Harris today say, look, I'm going to say some words people don't want to hear, like uterus. And she was saying that. I think old white men need to learn how to talk about this a little more. And I think the biggest thing is listen to women, listen to what they're saying. We've seen that when we listen. Now, shut your cake ass up, man. Such a soft, weak, panty drawers laying ass up, nigga. You know, you think somehow women got respect for you running around here being a chump ass dude. They don't. All right. No, this is, this is inappropriate and not necessary. I'm going to call it exactly what it is. All right. Don't come out here pandering, man. I just thought this conversation was going somewhere else. Get this white man off my screen, man. I'm getting too distracted, man. Get him out of here. All right? What the hell are you talking about? Mm-hmm. No, that ain't the way. Now, let me get on over here to event uh, uh, busing. Hold on. Busing Chicago students to polls uh, criticized for political undertone now i why i wonder why it's going to be excuse me um criticized for its political undertone mm -hmm. probably because it admits some it, it probably connects to some type of light foot type of deal what i mean by that is 
Reba Lightfoot wanted to run here for her second time. She kind of came out there and started offering uh, school credits for individuals that would go and work for her campaign. She was doing some type of weird stuff like that. All right. She ended up getting called out about it. All right. And I I don't want to say they shut it down here, but I, I do remember the media mentioning that. All right. Let me see what's going on here questions about the parade to the polls. It's an event to take Chicago public school students to the voting booth. Mm-hmm. Tonight, NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski looks at the controversy about the political messages that may be associated with the event. Every vote matters. It was billed as a nonpartisan parade to the polls. Repeat after me. We will not give up the fight. Housing is a human right. But there were certainly political messages chanted as Chicago Teachers Union members marched a large group of public school students from an engagement event at their West Side headquarters to Union Park so that those who were over 18 would cast what in many cases was their first vote for the upcoming Illinois primary. It gives the youth a chance to um, speak and give power in their voices. Teacher Brock Massey brought students from his Kenwood Academy class. It's an opportunity for kids to come out, see what's going on, and then engage in their own po- uh, political rights. But events like this have been criticized, many claiming it's an exploitation of students for the political purposes of the people who brought them here. You have a political organization taking children out of school to go vote. and. At the end of the day, that's wrong. It's a violation of CPS's code of ethics. If- it is. But this is how desperate they are. Mm-hmm. No, it is. See, what he's saying is true. All right, Austin uh, Austin Bird. Absolutely correct. You can't do no shit like this. And check it out. The elephant in the room. No, these are a bunch of black kids. This is what y'all doing, Illinois? Hey, Biden administration, with y'all funky asses. This is what you got to do? This is trifling. No, they want to, to, to put your kids on referrals and suspend them and do all types of crazy shit, expel them, send them to alternative schools here. No, you got some of these damn teachers and other things harassing you about circumstances here. But when it comes to snatching your child up, all right, for this rather unscheduled field trip or whatever raggedy shit you got here, hoss, this is appropriate. All right. Upon trying to steal some votes for the Democrats. All right. Because they're too raggedy to get anything going. All right. If you want these kids votes and that, why don't you come and stand in front of them? Oh, you're afraid of what they might say to you. All right. No, absolutely. And as I said, you look in the case of the crowds, every time they pick the camera up, they're staring over at black people. Let's go ahead and keep this is was their first vote for the upcoming Illinois primary. It gives the youth a chance to um, yeah. speak and give power in their voices. Teacher Brock Massey brought students from his Kenwood Academy class. It's an opportunity for kids to come out, see what's going on, and then engage in their own po- uh, political rights. But events like this have been criticized, many claiming it's an exploitation of students for the political purposes of the people who brought them here. You have a political organization taking children out of school to go vote. And at the end of the day, that's wrong. And it's a violation of CPS's code of ethics. If any other group that spent the kind of money and resources on politics that CTU does, the same activity, it would be national news every single night. In a statement, Chicago Public School says it encourages engagement but does not endorse specific campaigns or advocate for specific election results. But you're bringing them to the poll to support this funky-ass electoral system. In other words, if these politicians haven't been kicking out here, especially to black folks, well, why would you force them on some lane like this or to push them to go do this crap? All right. No, this was fully their intentions. OK, and, and I call it, you know, you see in the cases here what the rules is. This is against everything, Hulse, because. You need to, that's what your campaign dollars is and for every damn thing else and what your campaign promises are for to get you to go ahead to get people elected, not for you to use the cases of these schools, all right? No, so you can come up here real quick based upon certain kids having to be in here to get their credits to graduate, all right? This is some scumbag type of stuff. It says CPS has shared with CTU its concerns that the March 15th event be nonpartisan and comply with its ethics policies. Hey, y'all. But while they enjoyed pizza waiting to...
pandering. Oh, we got pizza. I'm surprised you didn't hand out cornbread and watermelon, nigga. Cast their ballots. Many students said they probably wouldn't have voted if there wasn't a drive like this one. Exactly. See, snatching pieces of choice off the table by doing trash. What kids wouldn't want to get out of school here real quick to get served pizza and yeah. Had they not organized this event and brought everyone together today, do you think you would have went to vote on your own? Probably not. There it is. Bingo. So this will be another game and strategy that they run. And the news reporters here are complicit upon letting this trash go down. You're not challenging this. Throw this in their faces with this Hamas and Gaza talk you keep trying to confuse people with. Huh? Just they're literally in front of you breaking the law in every aspect to win. Lying, cheating, stealing, all right, even doing this. And then we had the school put out a statement to say, uh, we're not telling them to vote for any political party, but you are telling them to vote. And you're setting field trips up for them to go there. Oh, my Lord. So this is a deciding factor in, in participating. Yeah. At the Union Park Fieldhouse, Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. Yeah, these bastards have got, they've had to get more creative because getting younger people to vote here is like pulling teeth for these political figures now. They understand they put themselves in this predicament here, Halls, but that's what it's come down to. All right. And you have this too. Another story. Chicago vote. Chicago votes parades leads to CPS students to voting uh, at the polls. All right. So they got this story up there twice. You know, this is going to that's going to get big attention here. Halls. First pop up a store opens along. OK, I guess this has been around that same side that FDMG was, is that, no, this is, this is Detroit. This is a different part here. All right. So I'm not even showing that Chicago streets was named one of the coolest. Uh, I don't give a shit about that. Is Elon Musk good or bad for free speech. Who gives a shit? Y'all definitely don't hate speech. Now, let me get off of this. Nobody gives me now to ethics questions about the parade to the polls. It's an event to take Chicago public school students to the voting booth. Tonight, NBC. Uh, was today St. Patrick's Day or something here, Halls? I, I don't know. I don't follow all this shit, man. All right. No, I just see a damn leprechaun here in the beard. A look at the four, at, at four St. Patrick's Day events happening in Chicago. I don't give a shit, dude. All right, I truly don't. Yeah, and I seen this tether here. Haitian migrant. He this dude's gonna be the spearhead upon Biden being able to drop a boot on Haiti's head. So some dirty tether, all right. Usually they want to say black person. I really want to be clear. I'm getting I was getting ready to leave. I hate this story. The man from Haiti accused. I didn't say anything, y'all. Look at how dirty they are, man. Nope. They don't have Title 48 to flex on. Title 42, is it 42? Okay, Title 42. They don't have that to flex on anymore. That was their way when they took them 14,000 Haitians and turned their asses around here. All right, when it was in Del Rio, Texas, way back when in the Biden administration, that was their easy way to do that. They got to go back to, to criminalizing you because they understand that a good deal of these Haitians are on their way and they need a uh, probable cause to refuse you entry into the U.S. And your boy just served you up here. What's up, uh, George Perry? I see you in here. All right. Yeah, I'm looking at it. No, this ain't our problem. And we're not going to advocate for a damn thing. I'm just letting you know that where white supremacy exists underneath of the uh, immigration system. All right. Y'all can hold your own nuts. All right, but listen to how he goes ahead and comes off here. All right, no, we have fully delineated. I am a freedman, 
this ain't our business, but it doesn't mean we can't take a listen. First, the man from Haiti accused of raping a teenager. He flew to the United States from Haiti legally using a program that was stood up in the Biden administration to try to disincentivize people from Haiti, Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela from coming in at the border illegally so long as they meet certain criteria, including a background check. Now, that program allows for up to 360,000 migrants in total a year. Mm. 21 states sued to stop the program. But a Trump-appointed federal judge just last week ruled that those states have no standing, which allows the program to go on. Chris, you have And that means that any old nasty frog face, delinquent degenerate, who's probably all rapey in his own home country and got complaints. No, you didn't. You're trifling. You don't just come over here and he's picking up where he left off at. All right. Yeah, that's why I say we delineate. You better call him a migrant. All right. We're sick of you shaking your finger at black folks talking about how much crime we're getting into. We sitting here minding our business. All right. No, you don't work 12 15 extra hours this week here, Hoss. You don't even know what's going on for some of us in here. You don't even know. You work so much damn overtime, you, you're confused. You're happy to get a nap every once in a while. All right? You looking up, all right? And you see one of these damn tethers look just like a Negro here, Hoss, and they're calling them black. Huh? And they're putting a warning out for black folks here, Hoss. But in this case, and and, and the correct terms, of spitting out the white supremacist agenda politically, a.k.a. wink, wink, let's get in on code to make sure these Haitians don't get in here. The man from Haiti accused of raping a teenager. He flew to the United States from Haiti legally using a program that was stood up in the Biden administration to try to disincentivize people from Haiti, Cuba, Nicaragua, and Venezuela from coming in at the border illegally so long as they meet certain criteria, including a background check. Now, that program allows for up to 360,000 migrants in total a year. 21 states sued to stop the program. But a Trump-appointed federal judge just last week ruled that those states have no standing, which allows the program to go on. Chris, you have a Biden administration policy. The DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas just celebrating this last week with a Trump judge saying, you know what, we got to keep the thing in place. Well, Republicans are going to do everything that they can to find every instance of uh, migrants, uh, immigrants committing crimes. They're going to find the most awful crimes. This gentleman has obliged that by committing the, uh, the one of the most despicable acts imaginable. And this will be a motif throughout the election year that you will hear that when these instances, which will tragically occur, uh, in a population so large that we'll hear it again and again. Uh, and that that is one of the realities of living in an election year. Well, I think it's going to be effective, ultimately. I mean, immigration, the border, this is at the top of voters' minds going into 2024. And I think what you're going to see is the Biden administration being held accountable uh, for their lack of securing the border. This program was to disincentivize. That doesn't mean stop. So right. you're allowing 30,000 more migrants on top of the 7, 8 million coming over the border illegally People the, aren't going to get on board with the that. Thinking, the thinking was with this program, in part, was if you don't go to the border illegally and you apply legally and, and meet a background check, uh, have, have folks in the country vouching for you, then you can come through. To Carly's point, you would say what? Yeah, I mean, Carly points out the Republican strategy. It's this death by a thousand cuts, this idea that we're going to continue to point out every crime that migrants have committed as if American U.S. born citizens don't commit crimes at a two and a half times higher rate. Is, is that, that going to be the talking point for Democrats? I mean, that's the no, problem. No, you can't have an no, academic no, conversation with no, an emotional no, 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 no. response. And you, you boot licking, buck dancing, goddamn the weekend little brother looking ass nigga, dude. Stop, dude. Our, their goddamn crime and our crime ain't two things that need to rock with each other, all right? Because we, in our cases here, there's no uh, 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 joint agreement. We go to our prisons. That's where we get sent off here, all, whether they committed crimes or not. But that's where we have to report to. For them, their funky asses are supposed to be deported. And he understands that these things have not been happening, all. Don't let people talk silly to you.
All right? No, is he sitting in here? Oh, well, we got to look at some of the things that we you know because we're one third and we nigga, that's a damn lie. Are you talking about right now? Because every time we blink our eyes, a migrant is over here killing somebody, sexually violating someone, and killing them, chopping folks up, body parts on them. Are you serious, Duke? Don't talk to us about crime. Every day I come on here, I got five to six stories to, from folks being sliced up, sliced up to dope coming in here down to individuals getting stabbed in migrant shelters, dude. To riots popping off in the migrant shelters where people are throwing tables and chairs in the lunchroom. All right? No, like this is some damn correctional facility. Are we going there, dude? These jokers coming into the U.S. soil here, Hoss, shouldn't be committing any damn crime at all. And if they feel an itch to do so, their asses should be deported. All right? You're entitled to nothing here, Hoss, being some foreigner coming in here. You ain't entitled to a damn thing, in my personal opinion. Nor do you have a right after you're entitled to nothing to come in here and break our laws and still be able to stay in the country. I'm gonna bring this little tether, all right, th this multi-flavored color looking Negro up in here to explain for, for migrants and, and jokers who wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. As if American U.S. born citizens don't commit crimes at a two and a half times is, higher rate. Is that, is that, that going to be the talking point from it's Democrats? Not be. That's the problem because we can't have an academic conversation with an emotional response. And whenever you're talking about people committing crimes, especially crimes against minors, that's going to evoke an emotional response. And when Democrats start to cite statistics like that, it won't really reach that emotional kind of flexion point that people need to feel under hurt or what, understood. What do you think we'll hear from both sides? Well, it's tricky because so often the, the, the conversation is around legal immigration. This was someone who came in legally yeah, and legal. was vetted. But to, to Chris's point, in a country this big, there are going to be some people who slip through the cracks. And I think we will continue to hear Trump hitting this hard. He's made this a focus of his campaign from the very beginning. I think we'll also hear Democrats reminding people, reminding voters that Democrats tried to pass a border policy and Republicans, including Trump, pushed back. What about what Michael said? To the point of, you know, the statistics that he brought up and whether or not that'll that'll resonate. Um, Michael is exactly right, uh, which is that is not an argument that you can use. You saw how Joe Biden uh, tried to deal with Lake and Riley at the State of the Union, right? Mm. The Republicans came in wild, right? Um, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene handed a button just, with her name, just with, with her name. frothing, yeah. right, to get that. And Biden tried to get the moment, right? And unfortunately, he kind of flubbed her first name, the victim's first name. Um, but when he said the word illegal, right, then what happened immediately after that? He, he went, hammered yeah, him. He went for the moment. He went for the moment, which is, I care about this. I'm angry about this too. Uh, members of his own party said, how dare you use that term? No person is illegal. And then Biden had to go around and he went on of the MSNBC or whatever, mop it yep. up a little bit. And yeah, and this is why you ain't got no goddamn base. Because the illegals can say whatever they want to here, Hoss. They're going to support whatever they feel like they have to until they go ahead and get their paperwork square. And they know that they, they, they know mentally, damn, I ain't going nowhere. The U.S. is going to let me stay here. I can pretty much do whatever I want. All right. And this is when these cats flip on you and they go ahead and start voting Republican. So I say this to say that they've never truly secured any base here or any group here upon doing anything all right, other than handing money to people who politically can't support you. Mm hmm. Even with all these little rush patterns through the system, they're not clicking fast enough to be able to give them results. This is why the desperation and frustration of literally tricking kids in Chicago to vote is one of their tactics because you ain't got nothing else. Everything else requires people to genuinely look at you and honestly get up afterwards and give you some support. And the average person doesn't care to lift their strength to do that because they recognize that this government ain't doing shit for them. 
you're exactly correct. With all that being said, I want to say much love to everybody. All right. Good evening. All right. Make sure that you guys smash the like button. We will be back tomorrow morning here. All right. No, oh, your brother, the bottom line has to go ahead to get himself charged up here, at least to get some rest. And in the morning, all right, we're going to go ahead and get, we'll, we'll settle up in the morning here, all. Much love to everybody. Smash the like button, support the channel. Bottom line.